Okay, so we got a little dilemma going on here. It's actually not a bad dilemma. Uh, problem is, the incubators are full. Um, yeah, I got a couple of these incubators. Um, they're like, they're like uh, four high, three deep. Right, let me show you. Slide one out here. So anyway, problem is they're full, and we still got some more clutches to go. The other years it worked out pretty good. It was like uh, maybe two clutches hatched. A couple days later, they laid two more clutches. So. It was pretty weird. The incubator would always be full, but it would be two in, two out. So, unfortunately, this time we got a lot of clutches still coming up, and the two incubators are full. So, we had to break out. Hold on a second here. I had to break out incubator number three. All right, here, here's incubator number three, which I'm sure a few you guys, you guys have done. Incubator three is just a, uh, it's a refrigerator. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple little reptile hacks, reptile hack videos. There's a ton of little things you can do that you don't have to go to the store, buy something. But uh, this is one of them. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of you guys have done it. Let me show you how I did mine. Of course, just uh, hobby breeders here, so don't have a big walk-in incubator like the guys that do this for a living. But here we go. Um, the refrigerator, you can, uh, you know, you might see one out in the garbage or if one of your neighbors is a renter, and they get kicked out of their house or apartment or whatever, you can sneak next door, steal theirs. Or if uh, grandma goes in a nursing home, grab her fridge. But, uh, okay, here, here's, here we go. What I did was I just grabbed one wrap of heat tape. It goes all the way down, wraps the bottom, up the sides and then I shoot out shoot out the top of the fridge and I'm connected to a, a Ranko up there it's all different kinds of uh, heat controllers out there but you know you can pick one up at one of the reptile shows they're all wired already all you gotta do is plug your heat tape into it set your uh, set your temperature and actually, you can see down here, you got the probe. This probe here is for the uh, going to your uh, going to the rank or whatever you're going to use. The other one's just a cheap cheap thermostat that you uh, you know the indoor outdoor temperature you can put on top just to make sure you're keeping temperature. Uh, let's see. Grabbed a couple um, computer fans, very cheap. I got one on the top facing one way. I got one on the bottom facing the other way. So you got a little bit of air movement in there, kind of going in a circular motion. Uh, what else? I got a, you know, the old water bottles in there the reason you do that is when you're opening and closing the uh, incubator those water bottles are still heated up to the temperature it was and it goes right back up to uh, temperature or if you got a uh, you know you might have a power outage or something and that'll that'll uh, get it right back uh, or you know keep it keep it warm in there while the uh, 
electrics out. But um, that's it. We are uh, going to be starting cutting. Actually, going to cut some eggs today. Probably some tomorrow. And for the uh, next couple weeks, it's going to be pretty good. Um, so, we've thrown up some more of them corny little videos of the egg cutting. But you just never know. Something weird might come out of there. Two-headed something. I don't know. But anyway. Alright, there you go. Simple. Simple crude, but works very good. All right, I guess see you later on when we start cutting video or cutting the snake eggs. Later.